Spaces is a new way for you to get your code to the cloud in minutes without having to worry about landing all the deployment services on Azure and getting to pick the right one. It analyzes your code base and based on your code structure, determines which is the best resource for your code to be deployed to. I'll show you that and more in this video. In this video's description, you'll find links to a free App Spaces Learn module and a blog with the steps to complete the exercises we'll do, and you can try out App Spaces today. For this exercise, we'll deploy a complete end-to-end -end rack system with a React frontend, a Python backend, and using Qtran for all vector database. The final product looks like this, with a simple UI that allows you to add your open AI key. It allows you to retrieve information from your vector database using natural language, and you can add new data that will be embedded and stored in your database. The beauty of this project is that you don't have to worry about writing the code yourself. We have the startup project that will get it up and running, and you can customize it to fit your own use case. So. Let's get started. Selecting an app space service will give me three options. One, I can connect to GitHub and deploy my code from my repo. Two, I can deploy a sample space, which is an end-to-end -end project that has the essential features already implemented for me. And lastly, I can opt to go for a starter component, either a front-end or a back-end, and start off with some boilerplate code. Now, since I don't have any code of my own, I will go for a rag up sample space. I will be prompted to connect to my GitHub account because App Spaces will create a new repository in my account and configure GitHub Actions for continuous deployment. I'll also add some details for my App Space and deploy. But before I deploy, you see right here that App Spaces analyzes the quantities and calculates the total cost of Azure resources that it will deploy to. I'll give up spaces a few minutes to finish the deployment, but I'll forward this video a bit just to save one time. So now I'll open my created space and up spaces created three components for me. First is my front end, which is deployed to Azure Static Web Apps, and I'll click on it to load my information about it. So first, uh, we have the deployment tab that has the deployment workflows and I can investigate the individual jobs and link the GitHub actions on GitHub. This is helpful because in case any of my workflows fail, I would like to have visibility on the specific job that fails without having to jump around from one tab to another. The logs tab gives me data that will make it easier for me to debug my code. Under the metrics tab, I see insights on my web application. And of course, we have no spikes on these graphs yet, as I've just deployed this application that is the user based grows. This will definitely be a good way to gain insights on the performance of, of the app. Under settings, I see configurations for domains and routes. Now, this is interesting because I can restrict access based on user roles. For example, if I only want the users with the authenticated role to access the path API slash documents, I can conveniently set that up here. Now, lastly, I'm able to set up custom or built in authentication for my front end. The last tab basically contains information on this application, and I can directly navigate to my code on GitHub from here. To access the live app, I simply need to click on this open app in browser link, and there you have it. Next is the backend component, which is deployed to Azure Container Apps. If I load the backend component, I pretty much get the same tabs as the frontend, so the experience for deployment, logs, and metrics are more like the same. However, on the settings tab, we see something slightly different, as we need to specify a port for our server to run, and we do that here. Then our project also has environment variables that will be passed in the settings tab and can be referenced from the code. When working in sensitive data, it might be a good idea to pass them under secrets, then reference them from the environment variables. The last component is the database, which only has the settings and the info tab. Under settings, we specify the listening pot, and similar to the backend component, we also set the environment variables and secrets here. The last thing I want to show you is how these components connect to each other. See this line connectors between the components? Well, they're not just there to visualize this connection on the canvas, but they're actual connections. Check this out. If I click on the connection between the front end and the back end, you see that a connection is already configured and requests to the API via the slash API path will be proxied securely to my backend from the static web app. In the same way, if I click the connection between the backend and the database, 
You see the environment variables that are being used to establish the connection. And if you look through the code, you actually see the environment variables being referenced from there. In conclusion, AppSpaces is an intelligent service on Azure for creating and managing web apps, eliminating the deployment complexities that we often face. It reduces the decisions that you have to make as a developer in deploying your web apps by choosing the best deployment service for you based on your code. Please like and share this video. And if you have any feedback, drop them in the comments. See you in the next one.